Hi guys, Storyman Bob here, and I'm here to read you another story. This one is called Golden Locks and the Three Pirates. Sort of like Goldilocks, but Golden Locks means yellow hair. And it starts out this way. <clears throat> Once upon a seaworthy sloop, there lived three pirates. A seaworthy sloop means a boat that goes in the ocean. The big one was the pilfering Papa Pirate. Arg! The medium-sized one was the menacing Mama Pirate. Aye! And the small one was the bunny baby pirate in training. Ahoy! And there they are, Papa, Mama, and Baby Pirate. Now, Mama was cunning with a cutlass. That means she was good with a sword. But puzzled by pots and pans. She was clever with a cannon, but not so helpful, helpful with a hammer and nails. And her sewing was, well, pretty bad. But one morning, Mama was so terribly tired of hardtack, I guess that's what they were eating, she decided to make gruel for breakfast. It's kind of like a soup kind of thing for breakfast. Flaming blazes, she cried as the cooking fire flared in the galley. Blobs of burnt gruel boiled over the edge of the pot. Baby looked at it and he said, Mama, could we handle, could we hire a cook? He's not looking forward to this meal. We don't need no stinking crew, Mama barked, slopping the rest of the gruel into bowls with a glare as cold as an arctic breeze. Aye, Papa agreed. Heave ho, we'll row the dinghy ashore for fresh water while the gruel cools. Okay, it was a hot breakfast, so they need to let it cool. And so they got in their small boat called a dinghy, and they're rowing to shore to get fresh water. Notice the waters are a little dangerous. There's sharks and a crab climbing up, but they are pirates, so they're not afraid. As it happened, a handy but lonesome lass named Goldenlocks was out for a row in the same craggy harbor. She caught a whiff of Mama's gruel ugh, and was drawn to the scent like a pirate to treasure. Goldenlocks followed her nose to the larger boat, hauled her ankle overboard, anchor overboard and clambered up onto the creaky ship. Uh-oh, she's going on top of, onto the pirate ship. Where are the pirates? They're in the small boat going for water. Hello, Goldenlux called. Anyone here? Silence. Goldenlux sighed. I was hoping for some company. But her eyes brightened as she spied the three bowls of gruel. There's the breakfast I smelled. I'm sure the good sailors who man this ship won't mind if I have a taste. She popped a spoonful from the big bowl into her gob, into her mouth. Yikes, it's as hot as cannon fire, she sputtered, and nasty too. Then Goldenlocks tried the gruel in the medium-sized bowl. Yeesh, this one's cold as cave moss and tastes no better. Finally, she sampled the gruel in the small bowl. It needs something. She grabbed a tin of nutmeg, it's a spice, and added a little pinch to the bowl before tasting the gruel again. Yes, to a tea, just right. And most of the mess was down the hatch in an instant. In other words, she ate the baby pirate's bowl of gruel. Her belly now full, Goldenlocks scanned her surrounding. Never having been on a real sloop before, she was, of course, wildly curious. She ventured below decks where she found three stools. There's one that says Papa, big heavy black thing. There's one that looks like a mama and a baby stool. I'm sure the fine owners of this ship won't mind if I rest for a moment. She sat down on the largest stool, hard as a turtle shell. Then she tried the medium-sized stool. Yes, it's as soft as chicken feathers. That won't do. Finally, she sat on the small stool. Yes, to a T, just right. But things were ship-shaped for only an instant before the baby stool smashed to smithereens. Out, said Golden Locks when she landed on her rear end. Someone ought to fix that. She found a mallet, that's a kind of a hammer, nails, wood, and some tar, and Goldenlocks set to work. Soon the stool was as sturdy as a sea chest. She's not just fixed it, she put a back on it. It didn't have a back, it was just a stool before. Now it's a regular chair. She's done all this pretty handy. Next, Goldenlocks scurried starboard, that's to the right side of the boat, where she found three hammocks, one, two, three, Surely the kind seamen who sleep here won't mind if I take a nap after all that hammering. She climbed into the largest one. 
Yikes, this hammer is tight as a stopper knot. It wouldn't bend at all. Then she tried the medium-sized hammock. Yuck, this one's loose as hand-me-down britches. She sat in it, and it sank all the way to the ground. Finally, Golden Lux turned to the small hammock, torn and actually lying on the deck, not hanging up at all. Yowza, everything needs patching up around here. So with a needle and thread, she stitched and sewed, and the canvas was nifty in no time. Then she tightened the ropes and rehung the hammock. At last, Golden Lux tumbled into the small hammock. Yes, to a T. Just right, she breathed, and was fast asleep before you could say, shut I. Now, you may have nearly forgotten about those three menacing pirates. If you climbed the rat lines to the crow's nest, you'd see that they are now just rowing back home for their morning grub. Or the rat lines are these ropes that you climb up to get to the top where you can see a long distance, the crow's nest. And here come the pirates, Papa, Mama, and Baby. Papa, Mama, and Bonnie Baby hoisted themselves onto the main deck and headed straight for their breakfast. Shiver me timbers! Someone's been eating me gruel, Papa boomed. Aye, someone's been eating my gruel too, Mama howled. Someone's been eating my gruel too, Baby piped up, and it's now all in their stomach. Mama leaned closer, sniffed, and stuck her finger into Baby Bowl's bowl for a taste, in the Baby Pirate's bowl for a taste. Hmm, this has been doctored with something better than bilge water, she mumbled. I should have thought of that. That's right good plunder. In other words, remember, it was the nutmeg that Goldenlocks added to it that made it taste good. Let's find the filthy scallywag who's breached our bow, Papa thundered. He stomped below decks, followed closely by Mama and Baby. Maybe you didn't notice Papa had a peg leg. Pirates sometimes do have peg legs. So they're all running downstairs to see what's happening. Shiver me timber, someone's been sitting on my stool, Papa roared. Hi, someone's been sitting on my stool as well, said Mama. Hey, someone was sitting on my stool and they made it into a real chair, said the baby. Mama growled, oh, that stool didn't need fixing. But underneath her breath, she said, I suppose I could have done that. The rogue's nearby, Papa pressed. My tattoo is tingling. Papa followed the prickly sensation, slinking toward the sleeping quarters. Shiver me timbers, somebody's been sleeping in my hammock, he bellowed. And someone's been sleeping in my hammock too, Mama cried. Someone's been sleeping in my hammock as well, Baby shrieked. And they strung it all back up, good and cozy-like. Mama scowled. Oh, I would have gotten to that, she muttered. But why is my bed bulging like a bag of gold bullion, Baby asked. You know why it's bulging? Because Goldenlocks is asleep there. At that moment, Goldenlocks' eyes popped open to find the three pirates sizing her up. Did you ma mend my bed, Baby asked. Did you fix his stool, Papa demanded. Did you add something to my gruel, Mama questioned. How dare you? What? Why, why, yes, Goldenlocks stammered. Everything's a bit ragged around here, you know. Someone had to fix things. She sat up, got a better view of her visitors. Goldenlocks gasped. Are you pirates? Where's your crew? Ah, we don't need no stinking crew, Papa said. But a glimmer grew in Mama's eyes. Say, Lassie, she, she wondered. You're handy to a T. Our family could do with a gal like you. How's about turning pirate? And there she is. And the story starts on the next chapter by saying, once upon a time, there were four pirates on the pirate ship. So Goldenlocks became a pirate. I guess if you're good at things and you help people, they'll be glad to have you around. <laughs>